All right, so today I'm with Ben Hunt, and he has just published a book called Expert Liberation. Um, for ben, let me just say hi to you first before I say more about your background. Hey, George. Yeah, hey. thanks for being here. So, <clears throat> so I'm, I've known Ben for years, I mean, at least five years. And uh, when I met him, you know, uh, I'll talk with you, Ben. <laughs> ben, when I met you, um, five or seven years ago, maybe it was, maybe even longer than that, uh, you were already one of the sort of marketing experts that I really looked up to as being somebody who, who really cared about people <laughs> instead, of, instead of just making money. Um, you, you were exposing some marketing um, unethical practices and things. I mean, you were doing it brilliantly um, already years ago. And, um, and so I really, I've always looked up to you for that. And, you know, recently, and, and you've been teaching people marketing, like, and even doing marketing in some form for 25 uh, years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and you've been teaching people marketing in some form for, I'm sure, uh, over a decade, longer than I have anyway. So it's great to, it's great that you, you're now, you've now put together into one book, um, sort of your, everything you've learned about how to become a, make a living as an expert, essentially. You've got, you know, those of you, a lot of people watching this have some modality, some message, uh, some experience that they want to uh, share with the world to be able to make a living doing it. And you basically put together in this book called Expert Liberation, your step-by-step -step plan for how to do that. So it's, it's a very generous book. I thank you for sending me the review copy. And I'm just looking forward to everybody here at the very least going to the website, watching the video. You've got a free, uh, free three and a half hour course, right? Um, so everyone should check that out. Obviously get the book. Uh, it's available from the website, but um, Ben, I, I want you to <laughs> I want you to share with us. I could talk about this all, you know the whole time, but I want you to share with us what you mean by expert liberation and kind of give us a a sketch of what those overall steps might be that you're asking people to to to, to take. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, well, first of all, thank you for for the very kind introduction. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I I, I started out. You know, I can say I've been in, in marketing and digital marketing, online marketing for 25 years, but the reality is that I started out as a web designer in 1994. And um, it wasn't for several years that I, I realized that web design was actually marketing because I'd come from a, a mixed background. I'd done loads of different university courses. You know, one of these people that's interested in lots and lots of things. And I'd, I'd done modern languages. I'd done art. I'd done some history. I'd done all kinds of you know, interesting stuff. Um, and I treated web design like um, graphic art, like so many people did back then at the beginning. It was so exciting, you know, and people just got carried away with how cool you could make stuff look. And it wasn't until, when was it? About 2009, I think, that the first light bulb came on. Because I'd, I'd written the book in 2000. And that's interesting. Sorry to interrupt. That's when I started my business, 2009. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd, I'd, I w this is the thing. I was already in business. I was already successful. I had my own web design agency. Yeah. In 2004, I'd started a blog called uh, Web Design from Scratch. Because I, at that time, I was doing a consulting job for the government. I was doing user interface design. And I spent three hours on a train every day there, there and back, going to a different city. And, you know, I got bored of Sudoku. So I, I pulled out my laptop and I started just writing. This is before WordPress, right? You know, WordPress didn't really come out until 06, you know, um, properly. And so I, I self-published this, this blog called Web Design from Scratch. And uh, I just started sharing information about uh, what makes web pages work because my mum when I was a little boy and I uh, had a very restless mind she one of the things that she did was she sat me down and she taught me because she'd studied art history at university she taught me she sat me down and showed me these like color plates of um, old masters paintings right and um, and she explained to me why 
the layout was the way it was, why that horse's leg is pointing in that direction. She taught me about things like managing the eye. And, you know, basically she introduced me to the reality that there is a visual language in art and design, okay? And that all went in and just, you know, became part of my subconscious. And then, because I'd been doing web design for say 10 years at that point, and I was doing it effectively. And, you know, it, my web design, I guess my approach was high in usability, which isn't really a term you hear much these days, but it was, it was big. Usability was big in the late 90s. Um, and my, my designs were practical and useful and, and fairly effective, right? So, and I'd noticed that when I was working for agencies, I'd have junior designers and I would sit them down and say, look, well, this is why that doesn't work. You know, that should be inside that box because it relates to that thing, you know? So all, all of this, um, the, the, the interpreting and applying that, that visual language to web pages, okay? And so I started just creating these tutorials, explaining that stuff because I was bored and I wanted something to do. And within a few months, I was getting <clears throat> visitor numbers in, in four figures per day, so thousands per day. And it really was one of the first um, blogs or, or websites dedicated to effective web design. Now, if I had known back then what I know today, I would have, that would, I, I would have been made at that point, right? But we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. So, and, and I wrote in 2006, I wrote a, a blog post called Current Style in Web Design, which was, because I was looking around and, you know, the, do you remember the term Web 2.0? That, that was kind of big in the mid-2000s. Mid and um, so I was looking around and, and I was, it, it seemed to me that there was a, a kind of new style emerging. There was a kind of a consensus about what made web pages work. And I thought it was really interesting. And I, I thought, I'll, I'll do a blog post about it or a post about it, article about it. And um, so I broke down like 10 m main uh, factors uh, that, that kind of typify the signature of this, you know, modern approach. And, and I published it and, and it took me one day, you know, from concept to publishing, it was one day's work. Even, I, th I think I did it while I was on my, at my job as well in, in <laughs> on my contract and uh, thought no, no more about it. And then a few weeks later, I noticed that my Google Analytics stats were spiking and I was getting six, seven, 8,000 people a day coming to the website. And I thought, what is this? This is crazy. And I looked at my, um, or what is now the search console stuff. I looked at the phrases that people were typing in to come to my website. And there was this term, my number one term, web 2.0 design, right? Now, I didn't know what Web 2.0 was at all. I'd never heard the term because um, it was very new. And, um, and Web 2.0 did not appear anywhere in the article either. And, but when I look back, a few years later when I look back, um, that article, and then I followed it up with so, another So one. this is interesting. I mean, people were finding that article, even though that term wasn't in the post because maybe other people had linked to your post with the words web 2.0 i imagine correct yeah web 2.0 <laughs> web 2 design i was ranking number one on google for web 2.0 design wow. and did do for years yeah okay? and then i wrote another article to capitalize on it called the web 2.0 design style guide a few months later okay and then i was ranking at number one and two on google for web 2.0 design and when i look back and actually added up all the hundreds of thousands of visits that I'd had for that term, right? Then um, basically that one day's work that I had done attracted, if, if I'd have bought that traffic at Google's recommended bid amount, it was worth $10 million. The amount of traffic, if I'd bought it from Google, I would have paid $10 million for all the traffic that came for free to that thing. Um, but I, I did what, a lot of people do it's so tempting to do you know you get some kind of big success and you think that you're king midas and everything you touch turns to gold and i just so i i kind of freewheeled from that point i you know i was getting uh, lots of leads my web design agency and 
you know, I thought life is easy. Life is easy. Life is good. Let's coast and relax. Okay. And um, what I should have done is I should have capitalized on that sudden advantage that I had and shut out the rest of the market and doubled down on being the number one uh, web, you know, visual web design guru in the world. Because I had the opportunity back then to do it, right? I didn't do it. I just carried on doing what I was doing and thought that success would continue just to arrive, okay? Um, so looking back, what I should have done is immediately packed in my contract, shut down my web agency, right? Because it was, it was a lot of hard work and, and a lot of grief. And I should have created a, a video course on how to do web 2.0 design, 10 hours, whatever, make it in a week. And I, I would probably have then, and then cemented my place as that worldwide authority, okay? And I think if I had done that, then I would probably never have had to work again. Okay. <laughs> and you would have been too famous for me to talk to you right now. So. <laughs> no, no, I mean, this is, this is fascinating. And it makes me think, all, everybody here has some, uh, just even following that analogy, right? Everybody here has something that they're being found by. Yeah, not, not, not everybody has thousands of hits a day to their site, like, like you did. But everybody here has something they're, they're being thought of by their peers, by their network, by their you know, friends and colleagues, and maybe by the web. Maybe they're being, if you go to search con, Google Search Console, you might find out, why, why is it people keep finding me using these terms if it's one or two or three terms, especially if it's several terms and they're similar? And you're saying, if that's happening, you, you need to pay attention and see about really uh, getting into that as, as solidifying that as your, your reputation there, right? Yeah, for sure. That's definitely one way, one way of doing it. Um, so really what I'm saying and the, the, the essence of expert liberation. So this is basically, this is the book that would have made me if I'd read it 15 years ago. Okay. And unfortunately it didn't exist 15 years ago. So I, I wrote it over the last 12 months or so. Um, and really the, the, the focus of expert liberation, so it begins with choosing and designing a one thing right this is your one thing this is the thing that you are going to be the world authority on and it can be quite narrow right for example I had a client years ago this is back then mid mid noughties I had a client called Steve who um, so his history this is really interesting because your one thing comes it's like a combination it can draw on your past you know, what you've done, what education you've had, what experience you've had, all, all that kind of stuff. And it's also influenced by your future. You know, what kind of life do you want for yourself? Um, where do you want to be? What kind of person do you want? What, and fundamentally, what is the lifestyle that you choose for yourself? You know, when you get up on a Monday morning and you're going to bounce out of bed on a Monday because you can't wait to do your, your thing that you do. Okay, so Steve... Um, his history was that he'd worked as a consultant in European Union legislation and stuff like that for companies, right? Really, really boring. But he was good at it and he had a lot of experience in it, right? But Steve's passion was golf, right? He loved playing golf, he's an amateur golfer, and he even designed golf courses, right? And you're thinking, well, how on earth can you combine those two things? But what Steve did was he created a brand called Golf Europa, I don't know if it's still around because, you know, it's 15 odd years ago. Um, and he created a niche for himself to be the only, right, category of one. So if you imagine there's like a crossroads, okay, there's European legislation and golf, right? And there's one crossroads and there's only one stall at that crossroads and Steve is standing at the stall. He is the guy. For that one thing so he created himself a consultancy which allowed him to work from home allowed him to travel around europe it allowed him to go to golf courses and play around you know and and to apply his experience and his education and everything else to what he loved to do so he created a job that he loved for himself and that's like a brilliant one thing okay um i could have done that 15 years ago but what i did was 
I didn't drop my anchor. I should have dropped my anchor at that point and stayed at that place and doubled down and dominated the market. It's like um, the, the analogy I like to think about is skydivers or jumping out of a plane. Okay. And if you are the number one guy, if you're the first jumper and you're free falling down there, the number two guy, no way can he catch you up. Right because you are, you are accelerating away and search engines work like that, right? If you can be number one on Google for your particular term that you've decided you're gonna own, if, if you're number one, you're always gonna get about twice as much traffic on average as the number two guy. So when you get twice as much traffic, then you get twice as many visitors. And when you get twice as many visitors, you get twice as many links and likes and shares and mailing lists and subscriptions and all of that good stuff, okay? Provided your content is good. If your content sucks, then you may find that eventually you'll be number two and the guy who was number two has overtaken you. Um, but that's the thing. That's the thing. It's, it's about choosing this one thing and really focusing on it. So you don't want to drift. And I drifted. And I drifted through different things. Web design, I created a course in web design a bit later. And that, you know, that made me six figures in a couple of years as well. And yet I drifted, I, I just kept kind of drifting from this to the next thing. Then I, I got excited about conversion rate optimization. And I wrote a book on that. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm like a puppy in a, in a field of butterflies, you know, I'm just see something move and I chase it. And then I chase something else and I chase something else. And I never, I never stop and go, right, this, this is mine. And you know, I'm putting my stake in the ground and I'm going to be the guy for this thing. Um, so that's that's the first thing, and, and it, it really and it needs to be some it needs to be something that you love. If you don't love it, then then scratch that off your list straight away. Because so I'm going to ask you about this. So so now your one thing is expert liberation, hmm. right? <clears throat> now you're not the first person to have thought of this idea, right? <laughs> like 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 there is of course you know we we all all heard of either Brendan Burchard or Marie Forleo or, or the other 15,000 uh, gurus that help people to make money with their message. All right, so this has been happening for, for many years. Yeah, so Ryan Burns published Teaching Cells, you know, back yeah. then in the mid Right, right, right. So, so what I'm getting from what you're doing now is you are repackaging this and owning the term expert liberation. Is that, is that right? So is that, is that, so if that's true, then what I'm reason I mentioned, because then this gives hope to everybody watching this to say, well, I'm not, I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world doing this thing, but could I then frame it differently and be the, the one in the world, the first one, and maybe the only one in the world, at that crossroads that you talked about. So, so talk about this, how can each person here yeah. own that? Yeah, That's a really good, really good point. Because yeah, you don't have to be the only person in the world, but what you can do is you can be the only person that says, I am the, you know, so it's, it's like you want to find a phrase or a term. So if, if I say I'm the expert liberation guy and I own expertliberation.com, Nobody else can be the expert liberation guy, right? It's like the four hour work week, right? The Tim Ferriss, awesome book, but it's more than a book. Yeah, he created a book and he's created follow on programs and all kinds of stuff. And he speaks at events and stuff, but it's all around the four hour concept. And Tim owns, there's no, there's no way the world could stomach another four hour work week guy because it's already got one so you <clears throat> yeah and that makes me think like i years ago i just started saying authentic business and authentic business coach because there's a nice abc ring to it but now if you google authentic business coach <laughs> i'm the only guy on the first page i mean literally everything is me and nobody else is you which is kind of surprising i'm sure some other people are trying to use it or whatever but yeah that's 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 an interesting thought so so really, it's like those of you who are inspired by this idea, it's like, is there a phrase? Is there a term? And by the way, is that something you can help clients with, coming up with that term? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, actually, you know, that's one of the things I love doing the most is, is, is helping people come up, come up with that term. Because awesome. um, it has to inspire you. It has to, it has to have a promise, yes. of course. Yes. You know, like authentic business coach. 
that will resonate with the people who, even if they don't know they need that, right. they'll get it. Yeah. You know? So it's got to, you know, the packaging's got to be, it's got to, like we, we have um, some ads in the UK that say, you know, Ron Seal quick drying wood stain, it does exactly what it says on the tin, right? which is a really great ad concept. But it's like, it's like that, you know, the, 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 the logo, the strap line has to promise exactly what you need, even if you don't know you need it. But for me, like you, like you said, lots of people have come out with offerings that can help you to take your expertise and to make money out of it or build a business out of it. Okay, That's great. That's brilliant. But that's not expert liberation. The idea of expert liberation is, as I've you know, really focused it and refined it, okay, um, is that you're not, it's, it's about the lifestyle and it's about who you want to be. It's not, it's not just about making money. Making money in itself could be seen as cynical or whatever, and that, that's just, that's not, that's not me, right? What, what I'm about is the excitement of getting up on a Monday morning and going, brilliant, I've got a coaching call today, or I've got an interview today where I get to talk about this thing that I'm really passionate about, okay? So, you know, I, I tried my hand at lots of things. And I, like you say, you, you, you mentioned earlier on that um, ethical marketing was, was a big thing at the time. Uh, a few years ago when around the time we met um but looking back yet yes the ethical side of marketing is something that's important to me but it's not the bullseye it's not what's in my core right if you cut me down the middle that's not what exactly what you find and uh and you know it has to be said i ruffled some feathers and, and got got threatened a couple of times over some of the stuff that i published and i've taken all that stuff down now right um but that's, that's, that's a topic for another conversation, right? But so expert liberation is, is very positive. And, and, and it's, it's about the lifestyle. It's about the satisfaction that you get when you go to sleep. It's about, you know, not just earning money for its own sake, because, you know, how do you keep score of that? Numbers are infinite, right? How do you know when you've earned enough money? Because you can just keep earning and earning and earning. And... You know, you could you could kill yourself. You could make yourself unhealthy in the process. That that's not the point, and that's not what inspires me. So I'm not looking for people who just want to make money. I'm looking for people who want the life that they'll love, and earn enough to enjoy the lifestyle that they love at the same time. So for me, you know, I have this vision in my mind of walking. My, my wife and I have this, this favorite beach. It's a couple of hours drive away. And we go there and it's just miles and miles of sand and there's nobody there. We almost never meet another human being on there. And <clears throat> so I've got this kind of touchstone in my mind. I've got this, this vision of driving to the beach and I've got a notepad and I've got a pen. I'm driving to the beach and, you know, on long drives, I, my mind tends to go into another state and things can happen. And then we walk on the beach and I throw stuff in, ball for the, for the dogs and you know we pick up bits of driftwood and stuff like that but all the time I'm kind of thinking and talking over ideas for a client and that's my that's my vision of how I choose life to be being outside being in contact with the earth being in the fresh air in the sunshine and being paid to think and come up with ideas and write and coach and advice okay so now whenever there's a an opportunity that comes along or a possibility then i can i can say to myself okay does that choice would it take me nearer to that touchstone of being paid to think while i walk outside in nature okay if it doesn't then that's very easy i can say okay i'm going to let that opportunity go because it's not who i am and that, so this is this is really the thing and it's the reason why it's liberation is it's not just financial liberation. So yeah, I want to, I want people who are stuck in the nine to five or particularly people who are stuck at home on lockdown right now, you know, thinking, you know, am I going to have a job to go back to? Am I, you know, is my employer going to go bust, you know, while all this stuff is going on. Um, and, and that's really, I think, highlighting to a lot of people how vulnerable we really are. You know, we believe that we're led to believe that to be employed, is secure but when you're employed you've really only got one client and if you lose that client if you lose the trust of that client or you fall out with that client then 
your, your entire revenue stream can go. And, and I, I love you saying that because that's why I believe so much in self-employment because I think you are your most important client and uh, you got to take care of the most important client. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is brilliant. I, I, I love, and I have to <clears throat> admit, I didn't read the full book yet, uh, but I, I read, um, I read, I think a third of it skimmed a lot of it. And I thought, well, this is definitely, and I know your background, I know your skills. So I'm like, definitely want to bring Ben on to, to share. So I want to, I just want to make sure people know where to get the book. Um, as of this recording, uh, you're selling the book uh, exclusively through the website, right? Expertliberation.com, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so again, that's expertliberation.com. And then, um, yeah, so basically for, well, it's a very, I'm not gonna say what the price is because who knows when people are gonna be watching this. So it's a reasonable price, you get the book, you get, you get an uh, audio book also that you've already recorded. That's part of it as well. And you give hours of uh, interviews and case studies um, that come with the, the, the book package. Right now, as of this recording, you don't have any, any additional offers. You really just want to get the book out there. And Well, um, I mean, so here, here's the thing. It's great to have digital product that, that people can buy so you can earn some money while you sleep, right? That's, that, that's fantastic. That's the ideal. But again for my vision of what i want to be doing and how i see my life i feel best i feel great when i actually help people so the book is there to inoculate you with the idea of expert liberation and it really does set it out you know and it, it's not a it's not a a step-by-step -step roadmap to your freedom and success because everybody's path is going to be different. But what it is, it's a met methodology for creating your own roadmap to freedom and success. Okay. So, and, and it really, it does, it draws on everything that I learned. And, and quite honestly, if, if I had had that book in 2006, I would have read it in a day. I would have probably read it again the next day. I would have got a sheet of paper. Literally, that's all it takes. And I would have gone bang, bang, bang. This is what it's going to be. And I would have been able to proceed with the confidence um, that, that this is possible. This is doable. This is, you know, realistic. And it is. It really is. And George, I mean, you know as well as I do, the technology that we have today for yeah. creating video content. It's even easier today than it was in 2006 or, or even 2012 or whatever you want to say. It's It's... It's uh, yeah, it's, it's not just a, it's a book for today. That's what, that's what I, that's what I see. So I love this man. Um, you are very generous with your content. Uh, I, I hope everybody who watches this, who finds your, your story uh, and, and the idea fascinating will go and buy the book. It's very affordable. Uh, I'm going to be reading the book myself as well. And um, yeah, so I, I believe in bringing good people uh, to my audience and you're one of them. And uh, I just want to thank you for your work and um Looking forward to catching up again at some time, you know, with no, no, with with awesome. updates, you know, maybe a That's few months sorry, down the road. Right, I forgot to say the um, you know, what I started saying. So yes, I want people to buy the book. Yes. Um, yes, I want people to read it. And then on the back of that, I you know I don't offer like an inner circle membership stuff like that. What I offer is you can work with me. You can hire me as a coach or consultant by the hour, or you know, as a, a monthly thing, if you want to work with me like that, then then you can contact me and we can sort something out. But that that's that's my thing because I want to work with people. I don't just want to churn out products and sell them and and create funnels and that kind of stuff. That doesn't inspire me. Working with people and seeing the the, the spark come on when you go, yeah, I am. I you know I can believe in myself. I can believe in my skills. I can help the world and earn a living at the same time by doing what I love doing. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? That's fantastic. That's excellent. All right, man. Um, I hope those who are watching this will go and uh, get the book, learn the methodology. Any comments you have as you read the book, um, questions, you can feel free to comment below. Of course, you can contact Ben through the links that you see below, um, expertliberation.com. That's, again, that's the website. And Ben, thank you so much for your work, man. It's a pleasure. Always nice to talk to you. Yeah, thanks.